What's happening? It's Big Cat. Hey, we back in this thing. K2 gutter is sleep with a cut out patrol. Wanna tell you for your background noise. My apologies, motherfuckers. Talk loud in the crib. Anyways, we here to talk. We here to talk. Apparently, Wack One got himself in the sun again. He got himself in a little something again. Apparently, Wack One it calls out all three Greedo for throwing shade at Kendrick Lamar. Now, I I don't know what's happening. I seen this. I was like, oh. Now again, I'm just reading the article. I don't know if it's actually shade. You are gonna get my thoughts as we keep going into it. I don't see a reason for O3 Greedo to sh throw shade at Kendrick, but hey, let's see why somebody would presume he was. Let's just keep going. Last like, subscribe, help your boy, I'll help your boy, girl. You know what it is. You know I'm the kid. You know I'm talking about itty bitty little flares. Yeah, right, let's go. Um, O3 thinks Dodd is exploiting LA artists. O3 Greedo and Kendrick Lamar are both beloved West Coast art. I love O3 Greedo, by the way. Great artist. In the weeks since uh, Lamar's Pop House show, though, Greedo has thrown shade. At least the hip hop road seems. Sorry, to think so. The rapper asked who the real colonizer was on Twitter, riffing off Kendrick, uh, Kendrick Lamar's critique of Drake. He then claimed that LA artists were getting finessed out of their work by the rapper and his PG Lang team. All three Greedo didn't mention names, but fans put two and two together. Wack 100 had something to say about this shade during a recent No Jumper appearance. <clears throat> I, I'm not gonna lie, I am one of the people, like, if Kendrick has, like, an L.A. sound and album, I would enjoy that, and I hope that's something he is working on. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy Kendrick with a message and, you know, his activism, his black activist, if I want to take the quote from Drake, but I would like him on, like, a mustard-type beat, like, that bounce, that vibe, I would enjoy a whole project like that. I don't think he's exploiting artists. It was a look in a sense, but I could see... I'm not going to say I could see Rito's point, but I could see, like, you not rapping like that, all of a sudden rapping like that. I could see maybe you have some critique about that, but I personally don't think so. But anyways... Let's see. So, Wack 100 took uh, O3 Greedo to task for perceived disrespect. As much as the music exec was concerned, Lam uh, Lamar earned this reputation among the community. It's not about that. Wack asserted. It's just about being real. They really respect and effort Kendrick Lamar. Wack 100 went on to know that K-Dot has such a profound impact that artists are itching to collaborate with him. Kendrick Lamar doesn't have to bribe or pay for no passage, he added to anywhere on west coast compton got his back the music executive also noted that family tree that kendrick lamar comes from thanks to his dr dre ties lamar has the backing of legendary acts like nwa and snoop dogg <clears throat> he ain't gotta go over there and pay whack 100 explained he then went to highlight the biggest difference between kendrick lamar and Ultra greedo k dot is not a guy that has to pay his way the executive noted and Greedo is speaking from the mindset of a guy that had to pay his way. Greedo comments have led to many to speculate as to why he was absent from the Doom Team Pop Out show. Now again I'm pretty sure Kendrick Lamar knows who O3 Greedo is. His story is such a great story as well. Like especially the whole like thing he had to go to jail. He needed a year out to record all the music he did like honestly is a great story. Like if we're just looking at somebody's trials and tribulations to get to the point where they're free of that and they're doing their thing, it was a great story. But again, man, maybe they're not cool like that. Maybe like he, he cool he cooler with YG and Roddy Rich and all that to the point he's like, hey I want y'all at the pop out show. Not no hate to O three, but it just was what it was. It could be one of them situations. At the end of the day we don't know. The rapper did address the situation on Twitter writing I F with that I was invited, but I couldn't make it. To all three's credit, he was praised. He has praised Kendrick uh, Lamar on multiple occasions. He had nothing but kind words for the rapper after the aforementioned pop out. K dot like Malcolm X after this, he wrote on Twitter. I sit back and analyze all that that he did in a month for this side of the nation. Kendrick Lamar, you're you a effing genius. Gotta respect it. Took the throne with this one. Hopefully, the respect between. Uh, these two will win out in the end. It has, after all, been a great year for the West Coast. Yeah, this ain't be. I don't know, man. I can see the way you you said certain things. People take 
take it a certain way, but I don't think it's no disrespect. I don't really think there's people is reaching for shit. Whack is doing his doing. Like, everybody's going to interpret it differently. I feel like Whack interpreted it a certain way, so it is what it is. But, yeah, I ain't really taking this as serious beef. Now, yeah, people could do some fuck shit, but I personally think Greedo does not have no issue with Kendrick. Maybe he was speaking his mind. Maybe he was saying, like, because, again, academics did bring up this point. All y'all that did the pop-out shit, y'all was in the video, y'all was doing all this and all that. Why, where's your K dot feature? You know what I'm saying? So, again, <laughs> now we look at academics as like an Aubrey Angel, but again, people have made certain similar critiques, whether a uh, diehard Drake fan or not. Now, again, I don't know if you want Kendrick just to work with more West Coast artists or whatever have you, which he will, but we all know Kendrick Lamar is like a Tibetan monk. He doesn't move on people's time, not all the time. Only a select few of people can literally call him like, hey, yo, big bro, uh, I got this project coming out. I would like to, you to do a feature. Like, to this day, when he hopped on Rich the Kid's new freezer, I don't know how that happened. I don't know what connections Rich the Kid had to get that to happen, but it did happen. But yeah, I, I just don't know. I don't think it's really beef. Wack is doing this podcast thing. He's talking about it. I don't think it's that serious. I don't like him saying like, K Dot doesn't have to pay his way. About O Three Greedo has to pay his way. I personally don't like that um, metaphor. But hey, it is what it is. But yeah, we all know Kendrick got them ties to end up you know, we, we all know that. But yeah, man. Shout out Greedo. Shout out Kendrick Lamar. Ain't real beef. Ain't real smoke. Yeah, we can have assumptions or speculations about certain shit. Maybe we do want Kendrick in general to work with more West Coast artists. And if he does do a West Coast tape. Maybe just have just West Coast artists on there. You know what I'm saying? Well, besides, like, certain people, if you just fuck with them, like, you just fuck with Fusion, you want them on the project. That's that's one thing. But majority West Coast artists on the project would be cool. But, yeah, let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with that little situation. What do y'all think? Comments down below. Links in the description. Besides all that, you already know what it is. Friendly Neighborhood K8 sign off for today. The Black TJ Dell while doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe, try to hit a little bit more to hear me. And I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace out, gang. Aye.